Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here. Wanted to do a review of a movie that's now up on demand. I think it's also on it's on iTunes I've seen on, you know, video on demand like Comcast and Time Warner and things like that. A lot of people have been talking about it. It's called VHS. I just finished watching it, and I'm going to go, I, I wrote down, you know, a little bit of stuff just to talk about, like, what the, it's like five, basically five stories, you know, and an anthology, anthology film of, like, found footage. The basic idea of, of the whole movie, it starts out with these group of these guys that are basically just filming this crazy stuff, and they're, you know, in a, you know, um, car parking lot, and they're seeing this one girl, and they pull down her shirt. You know, they're basically those kind of people that are making those videos where they pull down girls' shirts and things like that, and then sell them to companies. You know, they're all like illegal stuff, and that's basically the thing. Then it cuts to them saying, you know, filming, going, well, we got this guy is paying us all this money to go to this house and find this VHS tape and bring it back to bring it back to him. So they end up going into this house to try and find the tape. They go inside of this place. They find an old man and there with all these TVs everywhere. He's dead in in the chair just sort of like this. So they're all in there trying to figure out which tape, you know, to bring. The one guy's there, you know, what where the old man is and there's all these VHS tapes all over the floor and he's looking at them, you know, watching the tapes so it basically what goes from him watching the things you know the tapes and the things the found footage segments and then back and forth to the people trying to figure out what to take and you know gathering up all the tapes and things like that I will say too for a found footage thing it's a you know I, the, I, I thought it was very, very well done. I thought all the actors in this, you know, all did a really w good job. I noticed the one guy, I think, was from Poultry Geist. Because uh, I noticed, like, out of all the actors, I knew I knew him from something, you know. But the, the, uh, most of the other people were, have been in stuff, but are not, like, people you would, like, recognize right off the bat. But like I said, all these, I thought, you know, some of them I thought worked a little bit better than others. I thought the um, camping segment was one of the only ones that I didn't think was as effective just a little bit compared to some of the other ones now like the first I'm gonna go through the segments and just say a little bit of things about them the first segment is about a group of these guys and it's basically all shot through spy glasses so, you know those kind of things that, like how Mandel would wear when he would go on the street and do like pranks on people um, and I think it really did look like it was all shot most of it through, you know, spy glasses, and I'm sure, you know, when they didn't have to, they actually had the regular cameras, but there were parts you could tell, because those kind of cameras kind of have a crappy jittery quality to them, which added to this, but they basically put these spy glasses on the one friend, it's like a group of these friends, they have them wear it, and they basically want to have, you know, catch him sleeping with somebody, so they want to go, oh, well, you wear these, and then find a chick and sleep with her and all this, so they're going to the bar, trying to find somebody, and they they bring back one girl and then this other girl who's there who's very very creepy and keeps talking to the guy with the spy glasses going I like you I like you and that's pretty much all she's saying so they end up bringing her back to the um, hotel and then that's pretty much all I'm going to say you know what's happened with that um, the other one was about a couple of, now this one was my favorite one um, you know it wasn't like insane you know in some ways like some of the other ones that are like extremely creepy this one I found like the creepiest I guess just from staying in hotels and just the aspect of this one I thought was really creepy and then I looked at the end and saw that Ty West did this I really have liked all of Ty West stuff I didn't know you know who which one he did going into this and this one like I said really was really really good but it's about a couple that are um, married and they're going on a road trip and I think they were going just driving around they were going to like the Grand Canyon and things like that, and um, they end up at the one hotel they're at, and our motel. They end up this one girl comes to the door at night. It's like, oh, can you give me a ride? And it's, this seems very strange. They're all pretty much creeped out from it. So it's basically them on their trip, and the things, the thing that happens. The other one is a group of friends, and this one I thought was good. I thought this one was just a little bit not as effective as some of the other ones. Like I thought wasn't just perfectly acted compared to some of the other ones, but I did think it was still good. This was like a group of friends going to a, like, um, lake. It was almost kind of like a, the slasher of the bunch. And, um, they're out there, you know, going camping and things like that. And the one girl saying, oh, well, you know, this is a camp, you know, things, there, there are all these murders that happened here and things like that. And it's almost kind of like a, um, digital you know, killer, you know, that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, the other one 
this was one of the real creepy ones, was all, th all done through Skype. It was a guy talking to his girlfriend through Skype, and he was out, I think, like on a na like a base or something like that. And she just moved into the new student housing, like her new apartment. And she keeps calling him, saying she's hearing things. And he goes, "Well, okay, call me up, you know, the next time you hear something in this new place." So it's the stuff is going on is you know, as she calls when there's you know something when something's going on in the house when they're hearing things and it's kind of a creepy thing you know with what's going on in this apartment and the final one is a group of friends that are going to a Halloween party and um you know they go to this where the where the party's supposed to be held and you know all the lights are on in the house you know they look at it from out front it's a big kind of like creepy um you know old time house you know what i mean you know you know like the kind of typical haunted house kind of place they end up going there and like I said, all the lights are on. They go inside. There's nobody there. Um, and then they're, you know, they're all seeing kind of creepy things. And the friends, you know, the guy with the camera is sort of freaked out by it. And the friends are all just sort of thinking, oh, it's a haunted house. And it was set up for Halloween. Called this, and they don't really think anything of it. And that's all I'm going to say on that one. You know, I just wanted to try to go through and just give you an idea of what the stories are. And then kind of like leave you so you don't really know what's going to happen with them. But I will say though, you know, they did a very effective job, like I said, of making these things be found footage. Um, you know, and out of the found footage things, this was one of the most interesting of these kind of movies. And one of the most, um, you know, cr you know some, of, like, some of like, most of them are not very intense. This is almost like really went for it with this kind of stuff. And was a lot of real extreme kind of stuff. The gore effects in this were really good, and especially in Ty West. That was the stuff in that was like so well done. I really like this. I think people, everyone should definitely check this out on demand. Um, I really liked it. I think it's going to go to like theaters. I think it's probably going to be a limited release. If it, if it comes to theaters, though, I definitely would see it. But I really like this thing. The whole thing and like the whole time throughout it, it's always you know because if you tape on VHS and then you tape over it, so it's always cutting back and forth in some of the segments, especially the one. Like, some of it was like the tapes they're watching are things that are digital. Some of them were like stuff that was actually shot on VHS. So it's cutting back and forth between. So if the camera got turned off, it shows what they were taping over and things like that. But overall, though, this was a really good um, found footage thing and like I said most of the stuff has pretty cool twists and like things you're not expecting to happen with all these things and like I said too I just really wanted to go over the basic idea and you know what these things are because like you don't really know too much watching them but overall though I would definitely check these out I thought these were very creepy I thought Ty West segment was definitely my favorite all of them anyway though thanks a lot for watching for subscribing and definitely look forward to hearing what you guys think of VHS if you guys get to check it out I'll see you guys later